After trading a fixed range since the beginning of the year, copper finally succumbed to heavy selling pressure this week and was last trading at a two-month low. While the stock market turbulence is certainly playing a factor, the dollar recovery is the driving force behind the downturn. The greenback had recently collapsed to a multi-year low, but is now on the ascent. Despite the latest bout of weakness, recent macroeconomic data remains positive for the commodities complex and Goldman Sachs recently predicted $8,000 per ton copper sometime this year. But trading could get even more volatile in the coming weeks with Chinese investors heading to the sidelines for the New Year holiday. The political world wasn't as action-packed this week with the short-lived government shutdown ending Friday morning and a two-year spending limit was passed. Republican and Democratic leaders are now scheduled to discuss immigration policy and DACA membership status, but no exact timeline has been provided yet. As for next week, investors will be eyeing whether the stock market and commodity downturn was a one-off or the start of a prolonged slump. I'm Don Barker for the Metal Bulletin Group in Chicago.